All right, dad's golf cart was acting up. So he brought it over here. We brought it in the shop, took the air hose off and took this uh, control box lid off. And that's where that lid goes right there. Uh, we verified that all the micro switches were good. What was happening is with it in gear and the key on, you would give it gas but it wouldn't do anything. And as you can see, it is triggered by micro switches. So I thought maybe one of those micro switches were bad. There's also a couple of micro switches up underneath here that if it's in neutral, it will not start. If it's in forward, it will start. And if it's in reverse, it will uh, activate the buzzer. So uh, we verified all those micro switches and they were all good. Uh, we checked all the fuses and we found the problem to be in this key if you turn the key on too far it wouldn't uh, energize but if you just barely turn it on it would energize so we need to replace that key but in the process dad said about repainting this golf cart so uh, you know how we do it here at redneck manufacturing one day it's a thought the next day it's done so we are going to get started on this golf cart First, we're going to put that stuff back together, and then uh, we're going to start tearing the body off as well as the roof system. So we're going to get this thing repainted for Dad. Here we go. All right, guys, we're not even 10 minutes into this thing, and it looks a lot different already. Uh, so we just took the seat brackets off, and, of course, we took the roof system off. And uh, now I need to figure out where the bolts are for the back body and figure out where the bolts are for the front body and I'm pretty sure that this just kind of comes off and that just kind of comes off. There's a few things that we may have to do with the choke and the uh, forward reverse button but I think other than that everything else should just about come loose and as you can see pretty normal uh, all four of them on the uh, seat they have uh, let loose so I'll have to drill them out, tap them out, and get them straightened out. Took another Safety. step forward here. Uh, those are the four bolts that I broke off for the seat mounts. I just sprayed them with uh, PB Blaster, but uh, all the other bolts came out fairly decent. I'm not going to lie to you. I think the reason that I don't like filming when I'm working is because uh, even though I get it done, sometimes I'm very unorthodox. So as you can see, this thing looks a little different again. Got the front cover off, it's laying there, back. All right guys, we just brought everything from the outside in and uh, we took everything out there and power washed it. It probably doesn't look a lot different, but it does look a lot different uh, compared to what it did look like when we started. Dad doesn't even know that I took the body off, let alone power washed it and then prepping it for paint. The front hood, I'm not sure what was on there, but you can see that it has some uh, it's not delamination because it's plastic, just some distortion or I guess you would call it. I didn't do the hood, or I'm sorry, I didn't do the top and I didn't do the seat. I just did the body parts and the chassis and uh, so we're going to work from here. Alright guys, as I said before, Dad doesn't know that we tore the body off this golf cart yet, so he may have a fit, I don't know. But um, I've set the uh, tripod up facing the door. He is on his way over here. And uh, this is what his golf cart looks like. <laughs> he should be real happy. Oh, yeah. I would be. What? Somebody tore my golf cart apart. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Did you put that fuse in? Work? Yeah. You think it's ignition switch? Yeah. It All is. right. Just wanted to uh, shoot some video before we put any paint on this thing. We're not going to paint any of the aluminum, just everything that's black. We're going to repaint that. Uh, down in here, I'm not sure if I can get down in there without spray paint and everything else. I'm going to try. Motor, might try to hit that a little bit. And 
the rear suspension as you can see is pretty gnarly so we're going to try to spray that and try to shield all the aluminum and everything else so we don't spray paint everything black here we go All right, guys, first coat of etching primer is on. And that's the front, of course. Here is the back, and we green padded it. Gets uh, some of the edges off. When I sanded this up, I went through like the yellow gel coat, went through the white gel coat, and actually got into, I don't know if it's plastic or fiberglass, but when you hit it with this uh, green pad, it takes all those little burrs right off of there, so that works out good. So, yep, underway. Front, back, uh, got the underside painted up, and got a whole bunch of parts. And I guess I can show you guys a trick that I learned. Um, if you guys seen this stuff before I touched it, uh, you'll see that there is a huge difference between before and now. Um, so I'll try to show you a trick of mine. If you have uh, dull and dingy plastic on your golf cart or even on your vehicle, um, one of the things you can do is just take a regular old torch. I don't know how this is going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work on that. But uh, where it's dingy... That'll bring that shine right back onto it. You just have to do it real quick and it kind of melts it and brings a shine back to it. Like I say, you gotta be real quick on it. Here, this might be a little bit of an example. Right here, you can see where it's dingy. And that'll bring that shine. Now it does dull down a little bit, but it does look a lot better than what it did. Yeah, it made that look a lot better. I don't think I have any more plastic parts to hit. Let me see. Ah, this might be a good one. Let's see if it does anything for this. There you go. That's a uh, that's a pretty good example. On the side here is going to be a good example here too. Uh, let's see. So we did the face, and you can see how dingy that side is. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I learned that by mistake, uh, but it works good here on the face of it. We'll wait for it to stop rocking. There you go, you ready? We'll turn it around and do this side here while we're showing you. There you go. There's a little trick for you. It works on most uh, black plastic. go burning your shit up don't blame me because I warned you <laughs>